All right, so back here, we're gonna talk about broken link building really quickly. So you went through, you use the search operators, you found a bunch of resource page opportunities, you click through, they're linking out to external sites, it passes that test. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna check that resource page for dead or broken links. And the way that you do that is very simple. You need to install one of these browser plugins, whichever you use, both Firefox or Chrome, install it. Then what you're gonna do, is you're going to go to that resource page, you're going to click this little button up here that says href. You just click it and what it's going to do is it's going to slide down and it's going to run through the entire post and it's going to tell you if there are any invalid links on the page. If it says invalid links, then that means there are dead links on the page. Now, we're looking for broken links within the body of the article, right? So the only thing that we care about is if there are broken links within the body of the article. So if they are linking out to resources that are no longer on the web, then it's a broken link result. You know, if it's a broken link in the header or the footer, if it's a social media page, it is not a broken link. Let me repeat that. If it is a broken link in the header, the sidebar or the footer, it is not an opportunity for broken link and it is not a broken link. So let me run you through a live example here. Uh, well, actually, let me read this real quick. So when you run the actual plugin, what's going to happen is it's going to go through and it's going to highlight every single link on the page. If it's green, it means that the link is good. It is not a broken link if it's highlighted in green. If it's highlighted in red, it's a dead link. So you can see here it says 404, it's red. It's a dead broken link and it's something that we can pitch. So let's actually go back in here again. So this was the one that we said was a good resource page, right, from the previous video. This is all about SEO. So all we're going to do, we've, we've identified this. We use a search operator. We found this. It's a resource page. They're linking out to external sites. Remember, we just talked about that. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to click this little button, and it's going to run the actual program on it. So you can see it counting all the links. It takes about 25 seconds to go through the whole page. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down, and we're going to look for any broken links on the page. So I can see that there's 11 counting up, maybe even 12 dead links on the page, so we just have to find them. So let's just scroll down, keep going. Here it is. So Sonar Solo is, is showing up as a dead link. So again, so let's just drive this point home real quick. So when you click on this, you can see it takes you to an oops, a page not found. This is what's called a 404 page. So this website, this resource page post, is linking out to a dead resource. So again, just to drive this home, I know I'm getting boring now, but if you own this website, realvisits.org, and you have a blog post, and people are coming to your page, and they're reading this article, and they're clicking on stuff, and it's taking them to a dead resource, you would wanna know, right? Because you would wanna fix that link. So what we wanna do is we want to record this as a dead link so we can let him know because in the next step our outreach manager is actually going to send him an email to let him know to fix this link. So again, every time that you come upon a resource page just click this to see if there's any dead links on the page. If there are, then uh, we're going to record it. So, and I'm going to show you how to record these two in the next video again. So just click on it to make sure it's going to a dead link, make sure that's going to an external link, and make sure that there are dead links on the page. If there are not any dead links on the page, then I'm gonna talk about that in the next second. So this was just how to use the broken link checker and how to check a page for broken links.